Imagine this a global stage, billions watching, an Olympic ceremony that's supposed to unite the world in celebration of athletic excellence. But what if, behind the fireworks and the spectacle, there's a hidden agenda? What if this grand event was orchestrated with a sinister purpose to mock Jesus Christ and offend Christians worldwide? Today, we're unraveling the controversy surrounding the recent Olympic ceremony. Was it really just a celebration of sports or a deliberate act by the elites to undermine Christian beliefs? In this video, we'll explore how some see this ceremony as a blatant mockery of Jesus, how it's believed that vast amounts of tax money from hardworking Christians were used to fund this spectacle, and why average people might be missing the signs. We'll also look at how figures like Andrew and Tristan Tate, along with prominent Christian leaders, are standing up and protesting against what they see as an attack on their faith. As we peel back the layers of this Olympic-sized controversy, we'll uncover the truth behind the spectacle. Why is this happening now? What are the implications for Christians around the world? And most importantly, how can you see through the smoke and mirrors to understand what's really going on? By the end of this video, you'll have the answers to the burning questions you've been asking, was the ceremony a harmless celebration or a calculated insult? You'll also gain insights into the growing resistance against this perceived affront to Christianity and learn why it's so crucial to stay informed in these times of deception. So grab a seat and prepare yourself for a deep dive into a world where politics, religion, and global events collide. Trust me, you won't want to miss this explosive revelation. Let's get started. But wait, before we start, make sure you've subscribed to our channel. Let's start with the ceremony itself. Now, I don't know about you, but I love a good spectacle. Fireworks, music, dancers sign me up. But this year, the ceremony had more layers than an onion. Some folks swear they saw imagery and symbolism that seemed to poke fun at Christianity. For instance, there was this segment where performers were wearing outfits that some said resembled ancient Roman attire. Now, I know what you're thinking, Romans. Really? What's so bad about a toga party? Well. Here's the kicker these outfits reminded some viewers of the Roman soldiers from biblical times, the ones who weren't exactly Jesus' best pals. Coincidence? Maybe. But then again, this is the internet nothing is ever just a coincidence, right? Let's not forget the moment when a cross-like structure appeared in the background. It wasn't exactly the kind you'd see in a church, but it was close enough to raise eyebrows. Suddenly, Twitter was ablaze with debates was this a subliminal message? Were the organizers making a statement, or were they just trying to one-up last year's production? To add some historical seasoning to our dish, let's talk about the use of symbolism in major events. Throughout history, symbols have been used to convey messages, sometimes overtly and sometimes covertly. Remember the 1936 Berlin Olympics? That was all about propagandism and projecting power. Fast forward to today, and some believe that these symbols in the Olympic ceremony were a way to project a different kind of power, the power to mock and belittle. So, what does this mean for the average viewer? Well, if you're a Christian who feels offended, you're not alone. And if you're someone who enjoys a good conspiracy theory, this is your time to shine. The truth is, symbols can be powerful, and how we interpret them can be even more powerful. Now, let's delve into the financial side of things. Because, let's face it, if there's one thing that makes the world go round, it's money. The Olympics are funded by taxpayers like you and me, or at least those of us who haven't found a way to hide our income in offshore accounts. But here's the twist some believe that this taxpayer money was used to fund a ceremony that mocks their own beliefs. That's like paying for a ticket to a concert only to find out the band is playing your favorite song. According to some reports, billions of dollars are spent on these ceremonies. That's right, billions with a B. And while we're all stuck wondering why our roads have more potholes than Swiss cheese, our tax dollars are being used to fund this extravaganza. It's no wonder people are upset. But here's where it gets juicy. Some think this is all part of a larger agenda by the so-called elites, those M mysterious shadowy figures who allegedly control everything from the stock market to your grandma's cookie recipe. The idea is that they're using these global events to push their own narratives and agendas, and this time, Christianity was in the crosshairs. Now, let's address the elephant in the room, or rather, the elite in the room. Who are these elites, anyway? Are they the same folks who decide to put the milk in the cereal before the cereal? Or are they a more sinister bunch pulling the strings behind the curtain? Well, depending on who you ask, the elites could be anyone from billionaires with too much time on their hands to secret societies that make James Bond villains look like Boy Scouts. The point is, whether or not these elites actually exist, the belief in their influence is real, and it's powerful. And that belief fuels the idea that the Olympic ceremony was more than just a show, it was a message. So how are people responding? For starters, the Christian community is not taking this lightly. We've got pastors, priests, and everyone in between voicing their concerns. They're holding press conferences, writing open letters, and even organizing protests. It's like a religious renaissance of sorts, only instead of art and culture, we're dealing with modern day outrage and social media hashtags. And then there's Andrew and Tristan Tate, the internet's favorite provocateurs. Whether you love them or hate them, these guys know how to get people talking. They've taken to their platforms to rally against what they see as an attack on Christianity. They're challenging their followers to wake up and smell the metaphorical coffee. And let's be honest, whether you agree with them or not, they've got a knack for stirring the pot. On the flip side, we've got public opinion, which is about as divided as a family reunion during an election year. Some people are outraged, others are indifferent. 
and some are just trying to figure out why anyone still cares about symbolism in 2024. Polling data shows that opinions are split roughly half of those surveyed believe there was an intentional slight against Christianity, while the other half think this is all much ado about nothing. And then there are the folks who didn't even watch the ceremony. Because let's face it, not everyone has three hours to spare for a parade of athletes and interpretive dance. All right, let's talk about what people might be missing here. It's easy to get caught up in the theatrics and drama, but what's really at stake? If there's any truth to these theories, the bigger picture is about how easily our perceptions can be manipulated. Think about it, we live in a world where information is at our fingertips, yet misinformation spreads faster than a viral TikTok dance. It's crucial to question the narratives we're fed and dig deeper. But don't worry, I'm not here to preach unless it's about the virtues of pineapple on pizza, because that's a debate I'm willing to have. One common misunderstanding is that everyone who sees the ceremony as offensive is overreacting. But let's put ourselves in their shoes for a moment. If something you hold dear is being mocked, you'd probably feel a little miffed, too. It's all about perspective, folks. And on the flip side, those who don't see any offense might not be aware of the historical and cultural significance of certain symbols. It's like watching a foreign film without subtitles, you might miss the nuances if you don't speak the language. So, how can we navigate these choppy waters of controversy? It all boils down to critical thinking. Question everything, folks. Be the Sherlock Holmes of your own life. And remember, just because something's on the internet doesn't make it true, unless it's a cat video. Those are always true. Try to stay informed. Keep an eye out from multiple perspectives and don't just rely on one source. Talk to people with different viewpoints. You might learn something new or at least have an interesting conversation. It's okay to change your opinion when presented with new information. In fact, it's a sign of growth. So what are the broader implications here? If we assume the ceremony was indeed a mockery, this raises questions about religious tolerance and respect. Are we becoming desensitized to these jabs or are we just more vocal about them now, thanks to social media? From a cultural perspective, this controversy highlights the ongoing tension between secularism and religion. It's a battle as old as time or at least as old as reality TV and it's one that's not going away anytime soon. For Christians, this could be a wake-up call to stand up for their beliefs. For society as a whole, it's a reminder that respect and understanding should be at the forefront of our interactions. And for everyone else, it's a chance to sit back with some popcorn and watch the drama unfold, just kidding. But seriously, let's aim for a more united world. Looking ahead, what are the potential long-term effects? Well, it could lead to more scrutiny over how global events are organized and funded, or it might spark a broader discussion about the role of religion in public life. Either way, it's clear that this issue has struck a chord, and the echoes are likely to be heard for some time. So, what can you do about all this? First, don't just take my word for it. Go out there and do your own research. Challenge what you see and hear. Most importantly, engage with your community, whether it's through discussions, social media, or even just sharing this video. Let's keep the conversation going. All right, folks, we've covered a lot of ground today. From the alleged symbolism in the Olympic ceremony to the reactions it's sparked across the globe, it's clear that this is more than just a passing controversy. It's a reflection of our times and the ongoing battle for hearts and minds. Whether you believe this was an intentional mockery or just a misunderstood performance, one thing is certain the conversation isn't over. So keep questioning, keep exploring, and most importantly, keep thinking for yourself. After all, the world could use a few more critical thinkers and a few less mindless followers. If you found this video thought-provoking, make sure to stick around because next time we'll be diving into another controversial topic that's sure to keep you on the edge of your seat. You won't want to miss it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this deep dive, please like, share, and subscribe to stay updated with our latest content. And don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comments below. We love hearing from you.